computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to transfer files from a Mac computer to a USB without further ado let us start the video so in this tutorial you need to have access to a Mac computer have access to a USB pen drive which can have a capacity of one two four all the way up to one terabyte in this tutorial we are not really concerned about the capacity of the USB flash drive as we are working with very small files so a USB of maybe 256 MB for myself today is okay. However, in this tutorial, the USB with 4 GB capacity is okay. So, let's now start the tutorial. Let's now go over to the dock, go to Finder. Let's now insert the USB flash drive into the Mac computer and watch that load on screen. That's now been inserted. And we can see on screen Kingston on the desktop. Let's go to the finder, left hand side navigation menu, go to locations. Let's now click on Kingston. And so we wish to transfer files from the Mac computer to the USB flash drive if we just minimize Finder for the moment. Let's now right click on Finder, open up a new Finder window. We now need to gather the information we wish to transfer from the Mac computer to the USB. Let's now create a folder on the desktop after we right click. New folder, let's call this folder important files. Let's now open up the folder. Let's minimize the folder after we increase the size of the important files folder. Minimize or we can not minimize and move this to a new desktop. Let's move that to desktop three. Let's go back to desktop one. That's the Kingston USB. The Kingston USB desktop one, the documents finder window desktop two and the important files. So let's now go back to the documents finder. And the first thing we will transfer to the folder is the trial document, which is a document. So if we right click on this, go to copy trial document, go to important files, right click and paste. That's pasted. Go back to the documents finder. Let's now go to movies. Go to videos, take two videos, highlights, right click, copy two items, go to the important files folder, right click, paste two items. So that's a document and two videos. Let's now go back to documents, go to the music folder, go to what we have on screen, audio, highlights, right click, copy audio. Go to important files, right click, paste item. Let's go back to documents. Let's now go to photos, pictures. I see two pictures on screen. One, two. In case you're wondering how did I select two at the same time, click on one, then use the command button or key and then click on the second photo. Now, right click, copy two items, move to important files, paste. So audio, video, photo, document have now all been copied and pasted to important files. We can now quit the important files folder. Let's now go to Kingston right click important files on the desktop copy let's now go to kingston usb and now paste item so now everything within that folder has now been transferred from the desktop to the kingston usb on a mac computer let's now click on the important files and yes what we can now also do if we wish to is to delete the important files folder on the desktop because now it has been transferred, duplicated, copy and pasted 
all the originals have now been duplicated and so we can if we want to right click and move to the bin empty there we go so what we can do is right click on the Kingston USB and eject Kingston and it has now been ejected let's now check if any find the windows are open which they are let's just close the finder window on screen let's now go back to finder let's take out the USB that has been ejected and put that back into the USB port there we go let's now wait for that to show up on screen Kingston USB under locations wait for that to load click on important files and there we go audio video photo document quit finder eject the Kingston USB and so that's it for this video I'll see you guys in my tutorial thanks for now Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for Computer Science Videos from the start until now.